there was one time, uh, and this is one of my just favorite wrestling stories. One of my favorite things to do is expose people who don't watch wrestling to professional wrestling, right? And so it was obviously April of 2021. I had gone down to Tampa to visit. A, well, I was going for WrestleMania weekend, but I was also visiting a friend who I've known since high school and I didn't get to see her much. And so um, we had breakfast that morning and then I was like, all right, you know, it was like a little half hour breakfast. I'm like, all right, I'm going to go do some wrestling stuff. Um, and she's like, well, you know, I, I, I feel bad that I only got to catch you for half an hour. Um, do you mind if I tag along with you? And she was like, I've never been to anything wrestling before. Never seen any wrestling. And I'm like, okay. Um, and so she's like, so what are we doing? I said, well, I'm actually going to catch a show um, that's at a thing called, uh, I guess we're calling it The Collective, but it was Alley Cat's Real Hot Girl Shit. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. And the bring the story back around. The reason I tell you this story was because, again, this person, shout out Holly, had watched no wrestling in about 20 years at this point, and even then had very little exposure to it. But she came away from your match with Brooke Valentine going, I don't know any of these people, I don't know any of this stuff, but that Willow Nightingale, she mm -hmm. seems like it. She Just something about her pulled me in. And that was the moment it hit me. You know, I had seen it. I've been watching wrestling my whole life. I had seen it forever. But to see it through somebody else's eyes, that somebody who didn't watch any professional wrestling saw Willow Nightingale and said that she was the one that pulled me in, I thought that told me that the companies were missing out on something special by not having you there. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, that's one of the big things that I've come to pride myself on. Like, you have no idea how many, like, people in the locker room have been like, my mom, she doesn't really watch wrestling, but you're her favorite. And I'm like, thank you. Or like, oh, my wife loves you. Or like, right. my kid, like, you helped get my kid into wrestling. And uh, I recognize that that's, like, a very unique quality. Um, and I think that has just come by being true to myself and being me. You know, I think when I started wrestling, I didn't feel like I would fit into the mold of what a professional wrestler is. Um, but I just couldn't be anything other than myself. And it's really uh, been a strength of mine as opposed to a weakness, which is what I thought it would be when I started.